Another way to know if you're in your masculine energy or not is you see the next door podcast. Welcome back to the next door podcast. I am Bestie Next Door and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Now guys, we are on episode 11. Um, I don't know what episode is going to be on Spotify because Spotify is different from YouTube, but we are on episode 11 and this time around... I am drinking uh, some wine. It's a Spain wine and it's called Declain. Hopefully I'm saying it right, Declan or Declain. Um, it's a Moscato for SMR6. And you know when you get your wine, you gotta, you gotta do a little shake around the glass first. And first sip. Perfect, I actually put this in the refrigerator. So it's really good. It's actually really, really good. This is really good. So on this episode, we're going to talk about how to know if you are a masculine woman. And you guys know I like to bounce around from different topics as well. Now, the number one way to know if you are a masculine woman or not is are you open to receiving? Even though you know you can do things, do you ask for help around the house? Do you ask for help even though you know you can do it? Because a masculine woman doesn't like asking for help because she doesn't like to feel like she's depending on someone. She has the mindset of, you know what, if the person will, they could, but I'm not gonna ask because I'd rather be there for myself. That's how you know you're in your masculine energy. You're scared to ask for what you need. A lot of women that are scared to ask for what they need from men are nine times out of 10 in their masculine energy because they're not open to receiving and they're scared to hear no. But when you are a feminine woman, even though you know that you can accomplish something on your own, you understand balance and you don't want to do more than you can. Primary example of a woman that would be in her masculine energy is a woman that will have like 10 bags. And let's say a random guy asks, hey, can I help you or let me hold the door? You'd be like, no, I got it. No, I got it. Not open to receiving. Now, if you know that's you, I recommend you to listen to the High Value Woman audiobook so you can really subconsciously transform your mind and become the woman that you want to be. I feel like when I preach these things, people think that I'm just trying to push something on them, but it's just $13. I mean, if you could spend $13 to order Uber Eats or a coffee, then I don't see why you can't spend $13 to take the first step into your transformation, into being the woman that you want to be. People just... I don't know. I don't know what it is. All the women that do have the High Value Woman audiobook, I have not heard anything bad yet. All of them have said positive things like, wow, I can't believe I was living this long and didn't even know this. Like, I appreciate you because when that book was recorded, it wasn't recorded from a place of selling. It was recorded from a place of whoever listens to this audiobook is going to be transformed. And I used my spirit, my soul in recording that. And I know for a fact that it's beneficial because half of the things that was said, I wish I had someone to tell me the things that I tell you guys. I would have avoided wasting so much time in relationships and situations I didn't need to be in. Now, let me get back into how to know you're masculine. Another sign to know that you are a masculine woman, you date feminine men and you only attract feminine men. See, let me elaborate on that. Most women will wonder, why do I keep attracting this type of guy without realizing that they are what they attract? If you keep attracting feminine men, then clearly you're a masculine woman because there's no way you're going to be a feminine woman and you're going to attract a feminine man. So if you know you're attracting feminine men, then you are a masculine woman. Most masculine women that date feminine men, if you notice, they pay for all the stuff, they go half on everything. He's asking you, oh, how come you're not taking me on a date? How come you're not spoiling me? That's how you know you're dating a feminine man and that's how you know you're in your masculine energy. And in order for you to transform that, you need to take the steps necessary to become a feminine woman, which I will keep saying, listening to the High Value Women audiobook. Once you take that first step, then you take the course and you'll really start to understand masculine, feminine, and what it is to be a feminine woman. That course is so beneficial. It's a self-development course. By the time you finish that whole course, you'll walk away like, wow, I didn't even know that. Like This thing really changed my whole perspective because to get what you want in life, you have to be the woman that's ready to receive what it is you're looking for. If you're not ready to receive what you're looking for, you're never going to get it. The church is saying amen. You have to understand, everything in life is all about phases. And when you're trying to get to the next level, you have to be ready for that level. You can't want to get to level nine and you're still thinking from a level five standpoint. It doesn't work like that. 
and you must be willing to change. Now, let's dive back into how to know your masculine. Now, this is another way to know your masculine. You find it hard to be vulnerable. If you find it hard to be vulnerable, then you are in your masculine energy because a feminine woman doesn't find it hard to be vulnerable. She can express her emotions in a healthy way and she doesn't look down on her emotions. Another way to know if you're in your masculine energy or not is you see femininity as weak. See, a lot of women don't admit this. But most women look at femininity as weak, like a man taking care of you or you depending on a man means you're a weak woman. When in reality, you're not a weak woman. When you're in your masculine energy as a woman, you're living on survival. You're doing more than you can even chest because you're just trying to meet up. When you are feminine as a woman, it's, it benefits you in so many ways. And a lot of women don't understand that. And I know that what makes women masculine nowadays is the men. Because when you talk about providing to majority of the men, they look at it like, oh, you're broke, or this and that. But it's like, you are a man. You're supposed to take pride in providing for your woman. But you're making her go 50-50 with you. You're making her take you on dates because you're feminine. And then you wonder why she doesn't respect you. A woman would never respect a man that's making her pay all the bills herself because there's no way she's going to be dating you and living with you and she's paying all the bills herself just because you look at her as if she's not taking care of any bills, she's broke or she's that. Funny enough is men that are broke have a way of manipulating women into thinking that if they're not going half, then they're broke and they have nothing to offer. But those are not the kind of men you want to go for because those are feminine men. Because a masculine man will enjoy providing for his woman. He understands the two Ps. I have to protect, provide, and I need to lead. Because if I get this woman pregnant and we start a family, I must be able to protect, provide, and lead. See the men that want to go 50-50 with you? They're not looking to lead. They're looking for roommates. Let them be a roommate with their mom. Another way for you to know if you are a masculine woman is you're overly independent. It's okay to be independent as a woman but when you are dating a man and you can't even ask your man for stuff or you can't depend on your man and only rely on yourself so you work extra hard without asking anything and you're laying in the bed with him you are a masculine woman and that's about 70 percent of western women today dealing with men providing for themselves but still sleeping with them how can you sleep with a man and you can't be able to ask him for anything another way for you to know if you're a masculine woman if you appear to be extremely cold like if a man say you're so cold like you don't even show any emotion you don't even know how to just be warm that's how you know you're in masculine energy because a feminine woman is warm she knows how to show her emotions in a healthy way 70 percent of the women nowadays are numb to feelings Let's dive deeper into this masculine situation. Look at your family. All of the women around you overly independent, saying they don't need a man. Either if they do have a man, they're providing for that man. If you see that around you, that's the root of the problem. And you need to be the one to change that. It's almost impossible for you to have a whole bunch of feminine women around you and you be masculine. You can see with them being in their masculine energy, do you want to be like them? Do you want to be the one that's working two to three jobs saying she doesn't need a man, stressed out, anxiety? Do you want to be that? Or do you want to be the woman that works smart, not hard, that, yeah, I make my own money, but my man takes care of the majority of the things, and I get to have a fulfilled, nurturing, calm, peaceful life? You are always going to be the one to make the decision. You are the writer of your own book, and you are the captain of your own ship. What decision are you going to make? Do you want to continuously be the masculine woman that has to live on survival and be overly independent and say she doesn't need a man? And or do you want to be the feminine woman that works smart, soft, and live a peaceful life? The choice will always be yours. This is why I talk about listening to the High Value Woman audiobook. All these tools are there for you. You are the one that's going to make the decision on do you want to change now or do you want to stay the same? Like most men nowadays, are feminine because they don't have no money so they're gonna argue and say oh you're a leech you're broke you're this you need a job because they don't have no money because when you're a masculine man you understand that if I'm dating this woman I need to be able to provide for us and if we decide to have a family I need to be able to lead so a masculine man understands that a masculine man is not gonna argue with you about paying any bills it's only the broke man they want to be the roommates they want to be the girlfriends. Those are the ones that argue about providing. Those are the ones that call you broke if you ask them for something or call you a leech if you want something from them. They are the ones that's making you guys masculine. Stop dealing with the broke men. 
when you become feminine, you're going to attract a masculine man that understands his duties. Listen to the High Value Woman audiobook and transform yourself. Stop dealing with men that are making you masculine. Choice will always be yours. Do you want to continue attracting the brokies that's making you work hard, sweat, and stressed out? Do you want to live a soft life with a man that understands his duty, just requires you to respect him, and it requires you to be emotionally intelligent? Because when you're dealing with the masculine man, you're going to have to be emotionally intelligent. You guys know how I always bounce around from different topic to topic, and I really want to make this episode because a lot of women don't understand what makes them masculine and how to know if they're even masculine. And all the things that I mentioned in this video are signs to show that you're masculine. Let's just recap. One, you're scared to ask for help. Two, you're cold. Three, you look at femininity as a weakness. Four, you date feminine men. Five, you're highly independent. Six, you have a hard time being vulnerable and expressing your emotions. Those are the six signs for you to really know that if you can check off all those six signs that I just mentioned, then you know that you're on your mask. Even if you check off three or four, you know you're in your masculine energy. And what should you do about it? Listen to the High Value Woman audiobook. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm growing, you're growing as well. I'm so thankful that I'm helping a lot of women transform and really open their eyes to see another way of life. I'm so thankful for that. Guys, guys, like, comment, subscribe. It truly helps my channel. And turn on the notification bell to know when I post. Until we meet again.